guys, this is just a quick impromptu jump onto YouTube to tell you what Ofqual have been up to today because they are constantly surprising us with uh, fun things, fun, joyous announcements. Anyway, what they have announced today that the externally set assessments, which are going to be one of the things that teachers are going to use to determine your grades, are going to be freely available to everybody after Easter, which means the exam boards, um, the plan is that the exam boards will put these up on their website for you, for your teachers, for everyone to download whenever they want to and use them however they want to, which is great if you've got a personal tutor and you can go through the external assessments with them and write down all of the answers. Um, that That's brilliant um that's what they will be um doing um if you can't afford it or you don't have access to it or you don't have any way to download the papers and then memorize the answers before you go into the exams then you are going to be at a disadvantage hello everything about makeup lovely that you can join us here um so that is what off call um have just announced why government exactly thomas um it is a brilliant, brilliant question. I do not understand in any way at all what Ofqual's motivation for this were. Hello, Caitlin. Um, I can understand why they're leaving until after Easter. That is kind of nice because they don't want you guys cramming over the Easter holidays. Um, Mohammed, they are going to be released on the exam boards websites after Easter. That's what Ofqual have announced today. Um, students, yes, will be able to get the papers. Apparently, they're just going to be freely available. So, yes, private candidates should be able to get the papers as well. Um, now, these are optional externally set assessments, but this is one of the things that teachers may take into account when they are assessing your grades. Now, considering they are going to have to um, provide evidence to exam boards of how they've assessed you, it would seem fairly sensible that um, the exam boards do this. Um, so no, not like the 2019 papers, the actual new papers for this year, the um, Yep, the mark schemes will be up there. The papers and the mark schemes will be up available to everybody on the um, exam boards websites after Easter. The externally set assessments that the exam boards are going to be providing to schools, to teachers, of course, have said they'll be available to everybody for students to access them, for teachers to access them on the exam boards websites after Easter. So if you know you are going to be doing an externally set assessment, you can download the paper and the mark scheme beforehand, because Ofqual have um, said they're going to put them up there. And then you can go into the assessment that your teacher is going to be setting you, and then you can write down the answers that you've memorised. And this is um, one of the bits of data that schools are being suggested, used um, towards your, your grades. So it is going to be centre assessed grades, so it's not just going to be a single teacher. Um, with a single one person deciding your grade. There's going to be lots and lots of different things. Um, but yes, AB pupils will be able to access these. Um, it's going to be one of the bits of data. It's probably not just going to be the, the single one bit of information that is going to decide your grades because now basically everybody can access it. Um, you're right, it's not very fair at all because the people that have the, the time um, to be able to sit down and work out the answers, especially for some of the really complicated like A-level maths, um, you know, if you've got an older sibling or a tutor or a parent who's willing to put the time and effort into sitting and working out all the answers with you, making sure they are a perfect set of answers, then... Um, they, they will be at a much better place than uh, people who, who can't memorise or work out all the answers beforehand. Um, this is not going to be the only assessment that schools do. I can't believe that would be the only thing that schools do in any way at all. They're probably going to be um, lots of other things taken into account, um, but they are all just going to be up on the website. Um, it was, um, of course, did a briefing today day um is it just for the government to boost grades well i don't think um i think grades this year are just gonna be so high 
um, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be trickier for things like English where um, it is going to be an essay based subject so you still have to take, write a good essay but at least you know what the subject is going to be about um, so that um, you, you can work out which quotes and stuff you need to use but you're right most schools will be doing mocks um, as well as this it's probably not just going to be this single bit of um, data that is going to be used for this but they will all be available this is what we were told earlier they were all going to be available on the examples website after Easter so um, it will take um, a while for everyone to get through them, for everyone to, get, to download them. But after Easter, so that you do not have to cram, so you do not have to rush too much, do too much work over Easter, you know, take the time, look after your mental health. Um, there's probably not a huge amount of point revising for these external set assessments, since unless you've literally got them on the day that they are released, you will have time beforehand to um, go over them. And no, they won't be externally marked. They'll be marked by your teachers. They'll be marked internally. So you will sit them in school, maybe in your classroom with your teachers invigilating, um, and then your teachers will mark them and you will be able to see the mark schemes beforehand. Private candidates also should, as far as I believe, be able to um, see these because they are just going to be published and open, as far as we're aware, on the um, exam board website. So these are not going to be externally assessed, they're going to be externally set assessments. So the exam board will set them and then the teachers your teachers will mark them. So they'll be internally assessed, but externally set. And the exam wars are just gonna publish the papers and the mark schemes on the, um, the on that website for you to go and download and work out the answers and memorize the answers beforehand. Um, that is a really good question. How do you think we should look after our mental well-being? Brilliant question there. Thank you so much. Um, I would spend as much time as you can outside. Try and get outside at least once a day and go for a little walk. And I don't just mean like to the bus stop, from the bus stop, or on the way from school. Go for a absolutely pointless 10-minute walk outside. Get some fresh air, get some exercise, get some sunshine. Talk to another person as you're walking. Um, I try and put things into perspective that this is only one set of data which will not determine the whole of the rest of your lives. Um, mocks are important. Yes, it is going to be hugely unfair because grey boundaries will be higher if people cheat. But I'm not as sure I see if cheating if it's so easy and obvious to do. I mean, if you don't go and download the mark scheme for the paper... You, you are just putting yourself at an unnecessary disadvantage because everyone else is going to go and look at that mark scheme and it's not cheating because it's really available. Cheating is doing something kind of like illicit and underhand and this isn't illicit and underhand because it's going to be available on the website. Um, so that is the, the big news that came out today that the externally set assessments, papers and mark schemes are going to be available on exam board websites um, for schools to use if they want to. Um, when I know more, guys, then you will know more. Um, we will get through this together. I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. <laughs>